memes are creating reality. We call this meme magic. Yesterday, you may have heard the Lionsgate portal was supposedly activated. 888. Yes, August 8th is called by some the Lionsgate portal. And yesterday it was 888 because not only was it the 8th of August, the 8th month, it was also, if you uh, know digital sums, since the year is 2024, 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. So that's 3 eighths. Yes, the lion's gate is uh, something that just emerged not very long ago. I only remember hearing about it for the first time in maybe in the past 10 years or so. And it's funny because it's one of those things where I think it, I honestly think it was a troll. I think someone just one just made up this lion's gate thing, just, just kind of like a kind of like a poem. It's like eight eight lion's gate, right? And there's all this lore about about the sign Leo, that's why it's lion, because you know, the sun going into Leo this time of year in summertime. And then there's a story about about how the, the ancient Egyptians would have uh, use this, this specific time of year, uh, been guided by the star of Sirius and all this kind of vague uh, idea about there's, there's something special about this, this particular day, the August 8th. And it's honestly, the more you look into it, the more it just seems kind of vacuous. Like, well, yeah, it's we're in the middle of summer and um, the, the date happens to be a, a duplicate that, that you've got uh, January 1st, February 2nd, March 3rd up to August 8th. These are monthly occurring events, but you pack it in with, you know, the real sell is that you've got uh, these, uh, these Leos who are very proud to have their, you know, have their birthday around around this 8-8 eight, eight lion's gate. It's just, it's, it's just a poem, right? Someone just came up with 8-8 eight, eight lion's gate and then made a whole meme out of it, right? The meme out of, out of, out of the astrology and the numerology and it just, it just caught. And, you know, I honestly think this might have just been someone experimenting, seeing, seeing if they could make the 8-8 eight, eight lion's gate a thing. And it was successful, and, and I think the reason it was successful is because, uh, what do you call a conspiracy of Leos? It's the Illuminati. And what makes it magical, really, is that it doesn't matter if it's a completely made up history, a completely made up story. What makes it real is that it's memeable. People like it. And so, just like a birthday is kind of a made up thing. Well, you were only born on one day, but you're celebrating it annually, just like any anniversary, you just happen to make a make a thing out of it in the same way. Someone just said, oh, let's make a, a lion's gate a thing. And, and people said, oh, okay, we'll make it a thing. <laughs> Why not? So, and that's, that's how memes are creating reality. The more popular ideas become, the more people make something out of it and create their own meaning out of it. So for me, uh, you know, the number 888, is, which was with yesterday, that's especially meaningful for me because uh, I, the, the very first phone number that I, I learned was, uh, you know, a landline group I grew up with ended in the numbers 888. This also ties into chaos magic because meaning emerges out of this sort of sea of possibilities, this chaotic sea of possibilities. Everyone can create their own meaning. And that's what makes a good meme is something that's relatable, something that I can create my own meaning. And that's ultimately how we create our reality mentally, that the mind is controlled by our perspectives, our different ways of perceiving things. The words, the language we use, 
whichever words are dominating the conversations culturally, people are going to be thinking in terms of those words, just like whatever songs are most popular, right? Whatever the songs that you hear going around town, those ideas, whatever is uh, musical ideas and lyrical ideas, those are going to be getting into people's minds and emotion and influencing your thinking, influencing your mood, right? Magic is such an important topic these days. This, we are in this age of information and so much of it is trickery. Just like a magician's trick, some people are totally fooled and they buy into it. And we can look at three categories of people who watch the magic trick one. We have the little kids who are enchanted, they're under the spell of the magician and, and they accept what he offers them at face value. And then you've got the parents, say, take, who took the children to the show and the parents know that this is a, a show of trickery and that the hand is faster than the eye and they don't necessarily know how a trick is done, they just know that it is a trick. And then the third category of the seasoned magicians who can watch the trick and say, yeah, I know how to do that, or I know how he's doing that. I know all the details, all the equipment, what's the secret. And in the same way, we have these days, say NBC comes out with a news headline. So they have their core audience, which is going to take that at face value. And then you've got other people who will look at the headline and say, well, that's obviously fake news. I don't know what that fake news is based on, but I'm pretty sure it's fake just at face value. And then you've got a third group who will look at the headline and say, yeah, it's predictable that they would say that I know the real story. and." Of course, they would twist it in this way, and you know, we know exactly how they've twisted it. Now, with that said, it's clear that the trick for the Lionsgate portal is that someone put together these mimetic concepts, and their target audience liked it. They were enthusiastic about it, so they shared it. This is this is how memes work. You share the meme, people like it, they share it. And so even though it just seems to be a bit of silly poetry, eight, eight lines gate, whether it was a trick or a troll to start with, it worked and now it's a thing. <laughs> Accept it or not, whether you care for astrology or numerology, the fact is that there is a culture behind it and the, that culture affects people's lives. And so out of something that's probably entirely fake, something real was born. And that's why I call it magic.